Welcome back guys, my name is Chris Patrick and today we are on video number three of our multi-video series on how to work on and tune a engine for your RC car. So stay tuned guys, let's get you a little bit closer, we're going to show you a little bit of tips and tricks on what you can do with the track or uh, try to be a little bit more economical side without having to buy that motor tuner. So stay tuned and let's get tuning guys. Welcome back guys to the video number three of our multi-series video here of our motor tuning. So today we are taking the same motor, which is my Macklin version 2 Team Edition that we had put on the motor analyzer and adjusted it to 54 degrees of timing and that was pulling, uh, I believe it was 5.4 amps on the motor analyzer. So today we are going to do amperage through a volt ohm meter so this volt ohm meter here came from harbor freight and i believe it's a dollar 99 or 2.99 it's cheap and then all you need is a jumper of some sorts with two four millimeter bullets on both ends and loop your positive leg from your battery to the com port of your volt ohm meter and then the five ADC ports goes to your electronic speed controller over here. And then obviously your motor is connected. You do not want any draw, so there is no spur gear attached over here, so it's free. Um, you're wanting the motor to spin as free as it can be. And you can do everything that we've done with the motor analyzer simply by monitor monitoring the amperage draw coming from the speed controller using a voltmeter so got everything connected we're gonna go ahead and turn everything on I'm gonna notice I already have a little bit of a reading so 0.24 is the amperage draw at idle and at 54 degrees of timing directly off of our motor analyzer I have not touched anything we're gonna go ahead and give this full throttle and we're gonna find out what the difference is So I'm going to call that 7.74. So 7.74 is the amperage draw that this reads through the speed controller at full throttle at 54 degrees of timing. So 5.4 amps on the motor analyzer equals 7.74 amps here. Okay, that kind of gives you that starting point of how you can adjust your timing based on the amperage draw doing it this way so let's go ahead and loosen this up and we're going to turn this down to i'm going to go all the way to 30 just to show you tighten the motor back up the sensor board there we go full throttle at 30 amps is 1.82 amp draw so very very minimal so loosen this back up and I'm going to do the exact same thing as like I did on the motor analyzer. So I'm going to give it full throttle and we're going to adjust till I see about, I don't know, five and a half amp draw. right at about 49 degrees of timing so let me tighten this down and we're gonna give it one final pull here just to check so I was aiming for five and a half so I'm at 5.3 amps and that is I'm gonna call it 49 degrees of timing somewhere right around there so you see 
that you can use a very economical device, which is a dollar ninety nine at Harbor Freight voltmeter to do the same thing that a hundred dollar motor analyzer will do if you know how to use it and read it and understand what it's doing this way kind of is a little bit safer because the amp draw is through the electronics not directly through the motor so you're safer by setting it at like five and a half amp here than if you did five and a half amps on the motor analyzer so you know you notice it was like 7.4 7.7 when that was reading 5.4 amps so that's your difference from going through the electronics and the power demand and everything else now some people are going to say this is not very accurate i can tell you from a fact that my high-end one that i have here and this one read identically the same i've checked them they work just fine so I keep one of those in my pit bag for this and to check uh, sometimes some battery voltages. I'll use this little guy for that as well. So uh, with that, we're going to wrap this video up. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a wonderful and fantastic day. And don't forget to hit like, comment, and subscribe. And I hope you guys liked my little mini video series on how to tune a motor for your RC car. Later, guys.